It has always been my pleasure to do programs on women in the space program. So many have done so much. Take Poppy Northcutt, for instance. No, this is not about a special hybrid seed, nor is it about a new poppy flower. This is about Frances Poppy Northcutt, NASA engineer, semi-retired attorney, and an activist for women's rights. How in the world does she get a nickname like Poppy? From her brother, of course. When she was born, her brother was so impressed by her size that he called her Poppy after the main character in a 1934 children's book, Poppy, The Adventures of a Fairy. The fairy was only four inches tall. Needless to say, Poppy grew to be more than that. After graduating from the University of Texas with a degree in mathematics, Poppy was hired by TRW, an aerospace contractor with NASA in Houston, as a computer for the new Apollo program. After six months, she was promoted to engineer the first woman to have this distinction at TRW. She became the first woman to work in NASA's Mission Control Center in an operational role during the Apollo 8 spaceflight. Poppy and her team designed the return to Earth trajectory that the Apollo 8 crew took from the moon back to Earth. She was able to identify mistakes in the plan, including making calculations that lowered the amount of fuel used to swing around the moon. Working on the data, Poppy discovered at least one potential and or real mistake. Apollo 8's commander, Frank Borman, publicly acknowledged Poppy's contribution to his safe return home in a number of press conferences. The next space flight she worked on was Apollo 13. After learning about the exploded oxygen tank, Poppy and the other NASA engineers rushed to solve the problem. Her task was to work on computing the maneuvers used to return the spacecraft. It was a success. For the work that Poppy and the mission operations team did to save Apollo 13, they were awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom Team Award. On December 19, 2023, the IAU WG Small Bodies Nomenclature announced that the main belt asteroid would be named Poppy in her honor. If you are an astronomer, you will be able to find her. Not being one to sit on her laurels, in 1984, Northcutt graduated summa cum laude from the University of Houston Law Center, becoming a criminal defense lawyer, primarily working on defending women's rights. She has served on the National Board of Directors of the National Organization for Women and was the founding chair of the Harris County, Texas Women's Political Caucus. My name is Sue Taylor, Chief Curator for the New Mexico Museum of Space History. Thank you for joining me today for this edition of Into the Vault. Please check out our web and Facebook pages and YouTube channel. We always have something new at the New Mexico Museum of Space History. Thank you. <music>